Greetings, Internet, and welcome to another episode of A Comedy Musician Reacts. My name is Insane Ian, I am a comedy musician and comedy music fan, and this week we are taking a look at Losing My Patience by The Stipendium, featuring my buddy Bone Cage. Uh, I've actually done a couple songs with Bone Cage, uh, probably we'll link them at the end here, uh, or in the description below, uh, but uh, Stupendium is somebody who's new to me, uh, and I've been going through his catalog, and uh, I, every time I post my reaction to his newest song, it ends up being the same day as his next new song. And this one's probably no different! When this goes live on YouTube on Friday, he'll have a Fall Guy song, and I look forward to reacting to that one. But this week, we're reacting Losing My Patience, the Surgeon Simulator 2 song. Uh, I've played Surgeon Simulator. I haven't played the second one. Actually, another nerdcore friend of mine, Super Powerless, otherwise known as Oliver Age 24, uh, used to work at Boss's Studios, and uh, I believe worked on either the first Surgeon Simulator or I Am Bread or something. He had his own game too, it was a, a cat dating sim. And now he's the community manager for Fall Guys. So it's a weird nerdcore connection through everything. Uh, but yeah, he, he runs the Fall Guys Twitter page. Uh, and, you know, he's awesome. But he used to do uh, nerdcore, nerdcore music under the name Super Powerless. And, uh, and also used to do art under the name Oliver Age 24, which is why that's what his handle is. But he's not 24 anymore. He's much older than 24. <laughs> it was it was a whole thing. It was a very unique thing. I did a voiceover bit for him once in this weirdly 8-bit animated thing of a guy pouring milk on his own head. That's a thing that exists. Uh, the song I did with Super Powerless is on one of my B-side collections because it actually ended up never getting released until I put it on that B-side collection. Maybe I'll have that in the the underlay music and the credits, but a link to one of the Bone Cage songs. See, everything's connected to me! No, it's just, I know people. That's all that means. It's whatever. Anyway, we're gonna get to the song now. Uh, I, I'm looking forward to this because, A, uh, Bone Cage is amazing and hilarious, and the Stupendium has been stunning me with his expert wordplay and, uh, hilarious songs. Uh, so I'm, I'm excited for this. Oh, here's another thing to kind of go back to the last Stupendium song I review, re, reviewed. I keep saying review. Reacted to, uh, before this one, the the Death and Taxes song. I, I wasn't aware when I made the video that it was a game. And then I realized when I posted it that it was a game. And then the company that made the game contacted me and sent me a copy of the game. And I played the game. And I beat the game. And the game is awesome! Go play Death and Taxes. And they just had a thing about auditions for voice work in the game, and I auditioned for the game. Crossing fingers. Anyway. Patience. Surgeon. Here we go. Warning, this video contains flashing imagery. A little, little epilepsy warning there, that's good. Get the thing there. I like Bone Cage's new logo, too. His, his logo before was... Good, but this is great. Okay, let's look at your chart. New screen, cool beans, with a routine. By boxy, we take a look at your heart. That's the thing about Surgeon Simulator. It just kind of throws you into, uh, nothing is minor. It's just instantly, oh, we need to have a heart transplant. Here's your first job. Uh, I don't know about the second game, but uh, I'm sure it, it's very much the same way. Glasses are a little smudgy. I need to see this better. Of course, I'm using the logo on my shirt in the one spot where the logo is. It's a Metroid shirt. Yes, that's better. Seems we're fresh out of spleens. It seems we're fresh out of spleens. A purple matter of spleens. Cause I said Milo to see what we have got in the fridge. This kid is one key. So while you're fistful this leave. And I'm also meant to free. A little treat in your treat. And that's all you say. You wanna be my patient. Go ahead and be my patient. I love in the Surgeon Simulator games that it's only the one arm that does any of the work. You're only controlling one arm. And now in the new game where you can actually see what the doctor looks like, 
it's all just the one arm. It's great. It's good consistency. The only game where they don't do that is the Surgeon Simulator co-op mode that's on the Switch version for Surgeon Simulator 1. I, I even have Surgeon Simulator uh, VR. Uh, I haven't played it yet because I'm sure it would drive me nuts that I wouldn't only, would not only be able to use one arm. I don't know if the, the VR version uses both arms, actually. But uh, I know the co-op one does, but it's one person controlling each arm. So that's a thing. This is great. <laughs> oh dear. Those bone kicks. That's a great chorus. I want to get inside you in a good way. It's very innuendo laced, and which is most of what Bone Cage's stuff is. There's a lot of songs about dicks, is what I'm saying. Which is why I had him cover Objects of Desire for the Ninja Sex Party Tribute album. Available now at nsptribute.com. No, nsptribute.bandcamp.com. It'll be in the on the screen somewhere. But those posters are for. Shameless plug, anyway. You might find a shrug for a long unlikely Thus <laughs> misheard me when I asked for an IV At least drop three, have no cats on your cats Oh, man. That's a great line. Misheard me when I asked for an IV an IV shrub in in oh that's so good IV IV uh no cats on your cat scan okay all the puns now all the puns are happening and then he brings it back with the IV with the transplant perfect Psychopathic and homeocidal. Holy crap! God, every lyric is so damn clever. I am so jealous. Uh, like I have clever lyrics in my own stuff, but this, this is just a cut above. Just ah, uh, great. This, this is great. Nice. <laughs> that is such a bug cage verse. <laughs> He, he put out a thing to do a song called Pickle Jar, and he was asking people to be on it, and I, I wrote a verse for it. I don't, I don't remember if I ever sent it to him, but I don't think anybody sent him a verse. So, <laughs> I, we should get that Pickle Jar thing started again. I don't know why he just mentions pickles and it makes me laugh. But uh, just the randomness of Bone Cage is amazing. I'm surprised we're not seeing him in the video, but at the same time, I'm not surprised we're not seeing him in the video. We're seeing Stupendium all over the place. Uh, but, uh, Jeff doesn't appear on screen a lot in his videos until maybe the very end at some of the newer ones. Arm came off. Oh, such great rhymes. And the next one, too. Hippocratically negligent. Ah, uh, all, all four of those bars were uh, so, such good rhymes. Like, it occurs to me watching this, this is like, this is the nerdcore version of Like a Surgeon. That almost rhymed. Anyway, yeah, this is, this is the nerdcore version of Like a Surgeon, and Surgeon Simulator is basically the video game version of, version of Like a Surgeon. I almost said virgin, because like a virgin. That. It's. Yeah. 
And there's the pun of the title. Losing my patience. It's brilliant. It's, it's, I mean, we knew what it was from the title, but still. You know what the pun is. It's great. If your internals are curdled and needs a surgery urgently, it must be an emergency. If your TV refers to me, I'm certain you'd prefer to see some nerve from you. Emergency and the debris deserves to be set and free when they purchase the learning surgery. Need to be infernal infirmary. There's a quirk in your surgery. Was that Jane Fonda on the cover of Learning Surgery? Because it looked like a Jazzercise DVD. Yeah, yeah, that's Jane Fonda. Learning Surgery with Jane Fonda. That's great. That's that's so damn brilliant. Uh, also, I recognized it because I'm old. The one way gurney to purgatory. Whoa! There's so much coming at you so fast. Like, I, I've been pausing a lot in this one. I try not to pause a lot in a lot of the other ones, but this one especially because this one's really hitting it for me. There's so many good lines, and he throws so many at you so goddamn fast. It melts my brain a little bit more each time. And aesthetics a courtesy. Gah! I also love the punk feel of this, which is very much what Bone Cage does a lot, and but his, with his being a collaboration, I wouldn't expect it, but still, it's so good. <laughs> so you say you wanna be my patient, go ahead and make my day, open up so I can feel your heart. Just the head comes off. Just putting dogs in here. Here's here's the thing that I appreciate about Stupendium. Uh, not so much even more than the... Not so much even more than... I can't talk anymore. This is what I appreciate about his songs. Not just appreciating the lyrics in the songs, but also appreciating the insane production in the videos. Like, they're, they're, they are very visual. Like, some people will just show video game clips if they're doing a song about a game. And this has game clips in it, but it's not just that. There's so much more visually enticing about the video to be appreciative of it. Just this shot. It's all the knives and one person. One person is holding the knife by the blade instead of the handle. Just, it, and there's so much going by that you miss stuff. All of his songs, every last one of his songs, especially the ones that I've seen at least, require multiple viewings and multiple listens to catch everything because there's only so much you can do in a first time impression like this reaction video. Like, you know, I don't watch these ahead of time. I watch them for the first time so you can get my genuine first impression reaction of them. First E impression. And, you know, I know that I miss things because of that. I, you know, I, I want to sit here and listen to the song and not pause every time, but also want to pause and say how good certain things are and point out things that, that resonate with me as a comedy musician and as a comedy music fan. Uh... So that's why I pause so often, especially on this particular video. Um, but yeah, just the whole groove of this song. And the fact that it's called Losing My Patience, and that's not in the chorus riff. That's not in the hook. That phrase was, came up in a line in the song, so that doesn't make it super SEO. But <laughs> it's not great for search engine optimization, but it, it it's great for a song. So... Yeah, the hook of this is wanting to get inside you in a good way. Scalpel, 
Thank you for watching, and a massive thanks to all of my incredible patrons for making this video possible. This song was a collaboration with the fantastic Bone Cage, so please do check out his channel. Bone Cage is awesome. talented, and I've wanted to work with him for the longest time. If you enjoyed the song, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell, and check the playlist for more songs. And if you really liked it, then why not check out my Patreon or merch store? In the meantime, thanks for watching. Yeah. Yes. Uh, you know, if you like bo uh, Bone Cage's stuff, if you like Stipendium stuff, go check out their channels. Support them on Patreon. I also have a Patreon. Maybe support me too. If you wanna. No, no obligation to do so. But if you like what I do here, uh, like the video, comment, let me know some videos that you want me to see. Everybody's been recommending more Stipendium stuff. I have a very large list of Stipendium songs to go through now, so I appreciate that. Um, but if there's any other comedy music other than the Stupendium that you think I should check out, also recommend those as well. Uh, share the video with your friends, family, loved ones, strangers, people you hate, whatever. Any of that is a good idea, because it helps the algorithm, and uh, any engagement is a good engagement. Even if you tell me I suck, or that I look like Seth Rogen. I know. Anyway, this has been fun. This is a great song. It's got a great groove. If you want to check out the re regular video, link to that is in the description. Uh, I'll link a video I did with Bone Cage at the end and play a other thing with other stuff. Uh, words now go well by. How can you not know nerds like this? Every third nerd of nerds game like Wallowitz. They're taking their hits for everything that they do. They're cold stereotypes because they're kind of true. A belly and the show ain't that bad. It's okay to admit it. Oh, bro, you mad? So with Bernadette and Penny, I'll hang with the show. Our porno starts with a big bang. You all are just mad because kicks are taking over.